Well, hello, Amy Pongler. May I spray you with my big stiff hose? Yeah. If you buy a copy of Louis C.K.'s Tomorrow Night, and no, we're not getting commission if you do, you won't see that question asked. Neither Amy Pongler nor Louis C.K. are in Tomorrow Night for very long, and that whole spray people with a hose scene feels at most like a sneering nod to the oddly sexual theme that runs through Louis C.K.'s just released and it plays like a film school project by the most demented kid in the class film from 1998. And look how clever the young Louis C.K. thought he was. He was playing homage to Woody Allen. Uh, that was sort of a review, right? I don't do many. I last posted an entertainment review here almost four years ago after seeing Green Day's American Idiot on Broadway. And even then, my real point wasn't to play theater critic. I was talking about business change. All this week, I've been writing about the way content marketing dovetails with self-promotion, which then goes with promoting your older content to promote your newer content and how that all meshes with optimization. I started with Apple, business models, and influency changes. I moved on to the way different intelligence types process information. And then when Louis C.K.'s Tomorrow Night became available, I jumped because Louis C.K. is a brilliant, brilliant content marketer. But I digress. Today, besides seeding all those internal links to our older content, let me tell you about something very specific I did in my post on Louis C.K.'s Tomorrow Night. Not actually knowing the truth about the matter, I wrote that Tomorrow Night wasn't really a 15-year-old project that Mr. C.K., as he's claimed recently, found underneath his bed in film canisters. And I based this guess on Steve Carell not having changed in physical appearance or presentation and on the odd date attached to the YouTube trailer for Tomorrow Night. I also based the claim on the knowledge that saying something controversial would attract traffic, and I was correct. One day after posting the Louis C.K. Tomorrow Night Date Gate piece, it had become the seventh most trafficked article here over a 15-day period. And this may not sound like a big deal, but if you look at our recent traffic, you'll see that only three of the top 10 most popular pieces recently are themselves recent pieces. Because by design, we attract far more traffic over time than we do right now. The net neutrality piece is two weeks old, and the article about screen resolution on Lenovo's Yoga 2 Pro computer is a few days older. Everything else that's attracting traffic here recently is from months or even years ago. That includes an article discussing how rich Louis C.K. has become through his genius as a marketer. Now, I've been called out for my failure to research the dating of tomorrow night more thoroughly, both here at Answer Guy Central and elsewhere, and I've apologized for the fact that, as one reader put it, it isn't his job to do my research. And I'm sincere in that apology. But accurate journalism isn't what we do at Answer Guy Central. We generate traffic, we build your influency, and my goal was to do that on our own behalf while teaching you a thing or three about process and methodology. Well, mission's accomplished. You see the traffic and it will grow over time. The question is, is this wrong? And I'm not gonna try to answer that question. The number of variables is huge. And I hope that even people who found my sparse research and conclusion jumping problematic were at least a bit entertained. And as I said, influency are us. If you're the kind of business person who's results-oriented and can read between the lines of both what I wrote in Wednesday's piece on Louis C.K.'s Tomorrow Night and what I've written today, then you're also the kind of person who'll be interested in this link. Contact me. Just click right here. I'm the Answer Guy, and I'll be back.